Yeah. Oh my god. I wonder if I'll get in trouble if I put the name of a song as the title of one of my videos. Hello everybody, it's Len. How are you all doing today? There are men on the roof, literally opposite me right now, so they can see into my apartment, they can see that I'm filming, they can see me talking all alone in this room to a camera with the light on my face. It's super awkward and we're just gonna go through it. I'm just saying that if I seem awkward and a little stiff, it's... that is why. So, how are you guys doing? Chime in below seedlings, I want to know what are you up to today. So yes, I've used the title of a placebo song as my video title. Special needs. Oh wait, that's not even the right song. Come back to me a while. That's how it went. Change your taste in man. It's been that way since Christmas Day. Is that how it went? I think that's how it went. Now, luckily, the song that gave me the idea for this video a while back, and I finally have the time and courage to do it. So, change your taste in men. Our tastes change so considerably throughout the years, whether it's the type of food, the way we dress ourselves, our personal style, the books we like to read, the movies we like to watch, and also the type of people we have crushes on. Our ideal mates, the perfect man or woman, the ones that make our heads turn, our palms go sweaty, the ones that make us blush like an anime character. And I've given it a lot of thought and I've noticed how much my taste in men has changed throughout the years. And yes, men is what I like, just thought I'd put it out there. My taste in men has changed so much and because of that, I've decided to turn it into a video because it was kind of fascinating to me. And I've even taken it one step further and have decided to illustrate my video. Yeah, so if you know me at all, personally, or through my social media, or through my Twitch live streams, you'll know that even though drawing is my first love and my passion, I still have very low confidence in my art skills, like typical imposter syndrome and that even to this day, putting my art out there to the world or, or on social media or just showing my art to a person still gives me a lot of anxiety. This said, I've been wanting to include more of my art in my videos for a long time now, so it's about it's about time that I, I took that leap. And it's a pretty big leap. If you look through my Instagram feed, you can see that I definitely favor drawing women and girls over men, and that my favorite thing to draw also are portraits and faces and expressions and all that stuff. So this is going to be a definite challenge. Drawing a bunch of men, you can definitely say that I'm gonna be jumping in at the deep end, and I'm gonna be drawing a lot of things that I'm not usually comfortable drawing. That sounds really weird since said like that, but I mean like, uh, just things I'm not used to drawing, but yeah, let's just do it. So what I did was divide my life into chapters or eras uh, where I noticed a change of taste in men, whether it was a change of taste in itself or due to a serious circumstance like environment or phase I was going through or a change of personal style. You'll see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> and I'm going to start my love interest story at the age of seven when I realized that boys aren't just mean kids that chase you around the playground. Boys can also be very sweet humans that will hold your hand and stand up for you when other girls are being mean and give you a rose on Valentine's Day. Yes, that did happen. And I think it was that gesture that opened my eyes and my horizons to the world of crushes and blushing and sparkles and yeah, boys, 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 boys. Before we get started, I'd like to say that I'm gonna be focusing a lot of on appearance, on like first impressions, the thing that gets like the fluttering in your chest when you first see someone, so more physical traits. But you and I both know that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, it's just a video and for the sake of this one, we're going to go full on eye candy, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Also, I'll definitely be making fun of myself and some of the things that I used to like. That doesn't mean that if I don't like something and you like it, that doesn't mean it's wrong, not at all. I mean, you do you and I'll just be rolling my eyes at myself and how much I've changed throughout the years, okay? 
Okay, let's get going. Between the ages of 7 and 10 years old, I was new to discovering that I actually liked boys. I was in primary school having moved to Belgium, so I wasn't really sure what I liked. After a while though, a pattern emerged. I tended to like blondes more, probably because we're mostly dark haired in my family, so blonde hair just seems so pretty and different to me. Blonde hair and baby blues, the 90s movie star look. I don't even think I knew who Leo was at that age, but he's what comes to mind when I start adding up these traits. The floppy hairstyle was very in at the time, again, very Leo-esque. And then for some reason, I really loved bold, straight brows, maybe because they make their gaze more framed and intense. I call this my pretty boy phase, and it lasted me a good long while. Style-wise, having literally none of my own at that age, I don't think I was too bothered by what men wore, so I tried to replicate a classical look from the 90s with a slouchy t-shirt and one of those slightly high-waisted bulky jeans. I also gave him a watch because having a watch was definitely cool at that age. Obviously, none of the boys my age looked like this. To be honest, I don't know where this fantasy comes from, but I very much remember the blonde floppy hair. That was 7, 10 years old. This next one is difficult for me to admit to because this is a total product of the environment that I was in at that age. No way in hell would I have liked this style had I been in a more diverse of a place. So at 11 years old, I started high school, so I'm going to be putting this phase, air quotes, at 11 or 14 years old. My high school was not necessarily fancy, but rather very preppy. Long story short, a lot of rich kids went to this school and everybody pretty much dressed the same way. The Bieber hair existed long before Bieber, though I remember liking curly hair a little more with that style. You know what hairstyle I mean. Overgrown, covering the ears, or sometimes ears poking through. And then it swirled around your head, giving every teenage boy this weird head twitch as they flip their hair to set it back in place. The clothes were the same, just with different colors. A shirt under a hoodie, a designer hoodie, of course. Those damn pants that you wore so low that it turned walking into a waddle with underwear always on show, usually in shades of purple and pink. And I'm pretty sure Converse shoes were in, so I'm giving this guy high top Converse. Like I said, none of these things I like today. And I probably only liked it because I was suddenly in high school with all these teenage boys, which were suddenly dateable and... Uh, some things did stay the same though. The blonde hair, the blue eyes, the straight eyebrows, the sweet pretty boy look, no facial hair, kind of a baby face. I started getting into longer hair and oh, now I remember why I liked curly hair more, Orlando Bloom. I had a big crush on Orlando Bloom in Pirates of the Caribbean. Wavy curly hair. Well, okay then. Reality boy versus fantasy boy. Straight eyebrows though, see? 15, 17 was my punk slash rock slash emo phase. I went all dark and teen angsty. And to top it all off, I discovered anime. Real life men didn't stand a chance. I'm gonna draw this one way over the top for just for fun. The full on emo kid with all the trimmings. My love for blue eyes became a love for very blue eyes. Hair got longer, darker, wilder. Clothes were tight across chests and jeans were skinny and covered with chains and uh, accessories more than you need a lot of accessories. I also started loving piercings and jewelry on men became acceptable. Remember snake bite piercings? Do you? Leave it in the comments down below if you remember snake bite piercings. Oh my god, I would get a crush on a guy just for having snake bites. I mean, just... Ugh, it's <laughs> Manliner was a thing too. That was totally acceptable for me at that age. Manliner. So yeah, this is still me in my pretty boy category, though it's kind of a different type of pretty, more like cartoon character pretty. Less Leo and more... Oh jeez, I'm looking for a pretty boy in an anime. Shit, shit. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Insert name of hot anime guy here that I don't remember because it's been far too long and... Yeah, nothing comes to mind. I'm sorry. I fell as an anime fan. <laughs> Ooh, a new permanent trait has appeared. Boots. I love me a man in boots. 
still to this day. Not full on like goth rocker boots, though that kind of was a thing at the time, but these days more good old trusty boots. Yum. I definitely started liking bad boys around that age and it varies around different styles. On one hand there was the skinny punk kid with the man liner, the chains, the face piercings and on the other side there was the classic grunge rock type like Kurt Cobain or even Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp? Rugged? Mm -mm. Let's just say that my horizons were broadening outside of the typical high school standard. Ages 18 to 21 is where I started figuring out what I really liked in a guy, style-wise. High school was over, I started art school, and I guess that's when my dating life really flourished. I'd gone from a small pool with all the same kinds of fish, to a sea of infinite possibility. And with that many choices, you quickly discover what you like and which fish you need to stay the hell away from. A lot of things changed from that point. For one thing, I wasn't living in fantasy land as much and I was dating men rather than boys. And it turns out that I actually preferred a manly man to the pretty boys that I idolized before. Sure, I still like them handsome, but a little ruggedness was more than welcome. Freed from the pretty boy slash movie star phase, I, was actually, I actually gravitated more towards brunette hair. Some things stay the same though, I still preferred lighter eyes, blue still being my favorite, and I still preferred a lean build. Not so much skinny anymore, but tall, taller than me at least, a bit of muscles, yeah, lean, definitely. I still liked a bit of bad boy exterior, if they could rock a few piercings and some skinny jeans, I was cool with that. Boots and leather jacket became a must have, especially on broad shoulders. Manly man all the way, badass but secretly a sweetheart. So this particular style stayed a constant for the next few years. My tall, lean, sweet, rock and roll badass, the only thing that changed was that the man grew up as I did. Taller, more muscular, and more facial hair. I still love a man with facial hair to this day, so let's just adapt this sketch a little. Cheating? Nah. There we go. So I'm 26 years old now, going on 27, and you can say that a lot of things have changed in 20 years. The pretty skinny boy grew some muscle, blonde became brunette, cute became manly. The only thing that stayed the same are the eyes, I still like them blue, or at least light. These days, I like men with a lot of muscle. Maybe as I grow older, I like feeling safe around a man, so I'm more into Big man, tall and muscular, something that I would have found a little scary a few, a few years back. I still like jeans, boots and leather, so it appears that I've kept my love for bad boys. I still love piercings and now tattoos and beards. I'm not sure of the hairstyle I've given this guy, I was going for a viking vibe, but in all honesty, as long as they have a full head of hair, I'm much more relaxed these days when it comes to hairstyle. No man buns though, definitely no man buns. Something I've forgotten to mention from the beginning and is something that has stayed constant throughout the years is that I do tend to like guys a little older than I am. Not much, much older, but a little older for sure. Like in primary school, I didn't like any of the kids in my class, but if I did have a crush, it would be a guy from a few years above me or even in high school. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. I liked more mature guys. I hope I'm drawing some muscles properly. Our muscles are the worst, so yeah, please don't call the proco police on me. Mm. In the end though, I do feel like I still have kept some of my old preferences. Even though I probably wouldn't date, um, air quotes, a pretty boy that looks like he came out of an anime, I still feel a bit of a flutter every now and then. I mean, look at me with BTS. I mean, I'm obsessed even though the members aren't at all what I typically go for. I've picked things up here and there, like my love for piercings, a bit of accessorizing, leather jacket, boots and bad boys, and I'll probably discover more things that I like as I grow up. I mean, maybe in a year I'll hate muscly men and will wonder what the f*** was wrong with me. Seriously guys, this muscle thing is strangely unlike me, but swoon. I get all bothered by muscles at the moment, what the hell. Also, I know that I'm a very visual person. I mean, I'm trying to work as an illustrator, I love drawing, so I am very big on looks, but 
I've definitely learned that looks aren't everything. A guy can be your type on paper physically, but will either have nothing in common with you or you just won't click or he'll just turn out to be a total asshole or yeah, it ain't that easy. They say marry your best friend for a reason. <laughs> anyway, it's your turn now. I want to know if you went through a weird phase or what kind of phases you went through while growing up let me know in the comments down below i will be posting some of the art from this video the beginning sketches and the steps of creation on my instagram which is where i post most of my art at the moment because my website is down at the moment so if you do want to support me go check out my instagram follow me like some of my work it would really help me out so thank you very much in advance all links down below don't forget i stream on twitch at least at least once a week so come join me i love talking with you all it's always so much fun and we do fun drawings and have fun chats and yada yada Mm -hmm. Let me know what you thought of this style of video. I do really want to include more of my drawings and my art into my videos. It does take me much longer to make though, but yeah, let me know. That's it for now. I'll see you all very soon in another video. I hope you are well. I will worry you will. And... Bye.